all right welcome back with to uh north ms outdoors for the joiners today is going to be a little bit different for you uh boats in the shop so now we got to work on the pool and uh we're having an issue with our pool pump uh pools are kind of like boats you're always working on them, always spending money on them but what we got going on i'm going to turn the camera around and show you is uh we've got the pool pump set to filter uh, the setting is to filter this is a eco clear uh, sand filter and uh, have it set to filter but what we've got is we've got water that's coming out both into the pool for the recirculation and down through the hose for the back washer or pump out and the reason is is because inside here is a uh, gasket that uh, has been damaged and has to be replaced I've replaced it in the past and it's not really that difficult but uh, we're going to get busy and try to get it on camera and uh, I'm going to try to operate the camera and uh, show y'all how to do it all at the same time. Uh, that gonna be, that's going to be a little bit hard though. But uh, we're going to see what we can do. So first thing I'm going to do is, is uh, actually reach down and cut the motor off. Uh, then I am going to turn the pool. I can hardly see the writing on my uh, dial. But uh, if I remember correctly, uh, winterize is right there. So I'm going to turn the handle to winterize. And uh, next step is, is I'm going to take uh, the screws out around the top. And uh, so hold on while I get that done. So hopefully I've got the camera set up a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. It's got a nut on the bottom, so you don't want to lose those nuts. So as I pull the nuts off, I'm going to drop them in my pocket. Whoop, drop that one on the ground. Missed my pocket. And we're already getting water, so I already know that I've messed up because I didn't put a plug in the uh, in the ceiling to stop the water from coming. So hopefully that will help. Yeah, that slowed it down considerably. I think. Yeah. Probably also getting water back from the. Uh, from the uh, drain that goes into the pool. But the other thing I've learned about pools is, is most of the time when you work on them, you're probably gonna get wet. So it's not uncommon or unexpected. Now I've got a screw that's right behind that handle. So I just turned the handle a little bit. Probably not a good idea, but I did it anyhow. And now, I should be able to lift that up, up, and turn it upside down, and lose all my uh, handles, I and mean, all my screws, that are all about to be swimming in the water. But you can see the gasket right there where it's messed up, and uh, that's what the problem is, is that it's... Uh, came loose right there which was causing the, the issue and in just a moment here we're going to be funny screws went everywhere I don't know where they all went but many of them so here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop those in the other pocket. And we're going to take our gasket off. And it's just going to peel off real easy. It's not very hard. Like that. Throw it away.
open up the new gasket that I bought. Well, I believe it was $13.99. And uh, it has a specific place that it goes. Try to get it just right, which is like that. You push it in, get it sealed down in there. Look, there's a piece of glass in there. Get it pushed down into the little grooves. Where the gasket was out is giving me a little bit of trouble as you can believe you can see. But it's wanting to be a little bit contrary. So I'm getting that pushed down in there. Get that grass out of there. And it's in there pretty good now. And then you put it back just like you had it. And it was on winter rise, so that means it goes something about like that. And so you can see that it's working already. So I'm going to get a couple of screws out of my pocket. I'm going to drop one in on this side. Maybe. There. And uh, one in on this side. And one right there, and then I'm going to put that on top, reach in this other pocket, and get a screw out, I mean a nut out, and I'm going to drop that nut on there, and get that tightened up, hopefully we'll stop the water from flowing here in just a second. I'm do this one over here. Come around to this side. And we got water stopped flowing. So that's a good thing. Let me put this one in that I have. And now I get to do a search for screws. And I see one right there. Put that one in that hard to reach spot. Take my phone out of my pocket. Try not to drop it in the water. Now I gotta find just two more screws is all I'm missing. I bet they're right down here in a mud hole somewhere. Okay, we found the other two screws that we dropped. Y'all don't make that mistake when y'all do that. That's why I've got this video is to keep y'all from doing stuff like that. blocking you where you can't see. I'm sorry. There we go. We're going to tighten them all down pretty good. And uh thing to remember about your uh, valve is, is I always turn it in the same direction. I always go clockwise with mine. So I'm going to turn it and go around over here to where it says filter need to order me another little label so I can 
see where it's all at. I think I didn't tighten that one back up. Like so. And uh, now I'm going to go back over and pull the plug out of the skimmer. Let the water flow again. I don't think we really stopped very much. Uh, now when I turn when I turn the uh, pump back on we should have water going into the pool but not into the drain hose so let me turn it on and see what happens make sure we don't have no leaks got good flow going we have water running out through here got pretty good flow going through there and yes we don't have any water because before we had pretty good pressure coming through that so I think we've got it fixed and it was as simple as that so uh, another little DIY need to figure out how to keep my glasses from falling down on my face but uh, appreciate y'all watching a little quick video of how to uh, change the they call it a spider gasket or a filter gasket on uh, top of your eco clear uh, filter valve you just six screws one two three four five see uh, six screws uh, you take those off lift that up pull the old gasket off throw it to the side put the new gasket on uh, I think this is the second time that I've had to do this and uh, don't have any leaks and uh, so everything's looking good it's really really a simple project that you can probably do uh, while you're on here please if you like the video please give me a thumbs up uh, hit that subscribe button I would really appreciate it and I would appreciate your help I think I got an ant biting me on my foot uh, but I would appreciate y'all's help uh, getting subscribers and uh, stand by and you can check out some more DIY videos uh, also while you're on here check out some of our fishing videos and uh, alligator hunt videos and uh, all kinds of other videos including chickens and a little bit of hunting and everything else and we do appreciate you watching thank you much